This is the world's largest electric vehicle. It's a dump truck, very creatively named the E-Dumper, weighing in at 45 tons. This thing is a beast with six foot tires, 55 tons of capacity, in a 600 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's equivalent to around six Model S's. But besides being absolutely giant, this thing is also incredibly efficient and never needs to charge, all thanks to regenerative braking. So this truck climbs up the hill with a full charge, it loads up its entire bed completely full, and then goes back down the hill and recovers a ton of energy from regenerative braking. But how exactly does this work? If you've ever driven an EV before, you know that regen braking is that sensation you get when you let off the accelerator. The car almost instantly starts to slow down instead of coasting like a normal gas car. So before we can understand braking in an EV, let's talk about how it works in a gas car. So let's imagine you're traveling down the road and you see a stop sign up ahead. You let go of the gas so you're no longer putting energy into the car to make it move but the car is still rolling because it has kinetic energy and you could just let it run until that kinetic energy wears out and there's friction and air resistance slows you down, but that's not very practical and wouldn't be very kind of the people you're driving around. So you press on the brake and that causes a system to essentially close a set of pads around a disc that is next to your wheel and that causes your car to slow down using friction applied directly to that disc next to the wheel. And this works great, we've been using it for over 100 years to stop cars moving at high speeds. But if we shift over to EVs, we can see that this braking system is actually built directly into the electric motor. So without getting into a bunch of physics terms and explaining a bunch of equations and things like that, there's a couple things you should know about an electric motor if you wanna understand regen braking. So there are two major parts in an electric motor, and that is the stator and the rotor. The stator is the stationary part and the rotor is the part that moves or turns in the electric motor. So how an electric motor works on a very basic level is that you push current through the stator. This creates a magnetic field that then turns the rotor. So when you press on the accelerator in an EV, you're essentially just pushing current to that stator. But when you let off the accelerator in an EV, your car is still moving and has energy to keep moving. So that rotor continues to turn. This actually pushes current in the other direction of the motor, so the motor becomes a generator and actually charges up the battery. Normally this energy would just be wasted to friction using brake pads, but in EV you can actually capture that wasted energy and use it to charge up the battery, which is very efficient. And this is a big reason why EV brakes don't wear out as often, you really don't have to replace them hardly at all. But this has a lot of advantages beyond brake wear. This actually extends your range a little bit. Most of the EP estimated range you'll see for electric vehicles actually includes regen braking while you're driving. This is why EVs are awesome in stop and go traffic because you're constantly speeding up and slowing down. You're speeding up and using your battery, but then when you slow down, you're just recuperating that energy again. But you'll also see that if you're driving on a hilly highway or a, you're driving uphill a lot, you're gonna waste much more energy. Beyond that, you also get one pedal driving, which immensely simplifies the driving process. You only have to worry about one pedal now. So you press down to go and you let go to stop. Some people don't like that and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've been driving with it for a while, you'll realize it has a lot of advantages and makes driving a lot more enjoyable. So in a nutshell, that is how regen braking works. I've got some other videos about how parts of electric cars work as well. I'll make sure I link those down in the description and you'll probably see a teaser after this video. So be sure to check those out as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you in the next one.